Welcome back, guys. We're going into the final match here at the SSSSSSL live at the Nexon Arena. My name is Valdez. Joining me is Moonglade. Yeah, I'm Moon here. Moonglade. I'm here, man, and I'm ready for this PvP. Zeth versus Hurricane. Yummy dummy. Yeah, this is going to be interesting for sure. A PvP to finish things off. A best of three. Zest the chisel toss over here. He's proven himself across the world. He has many results. He's a great player. And an even handsomer man. <laughs> Just how handsome is he, Moonglade? Perfection is not enough. <laughs> he is simply uh, the best human alive. I don't know. I, I got nothing else about that. <laughs> I'm too tired. But here is Hurricane, the opponent. Yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting, guys. For uh, the Spanish Star League here, we do have different icons for each of these players. You can see it during the intros. Uh, Hurricane's one is actually just a hurricane. Fair pretty enough. Pretty fitting. Fair enough. Is it actually a hurricane or a cyclone? Because I think they're it looks different. like a cyclone and uh, like a tornado or whatever. But okay, so it's not actually a hurricane. It's a. Uh, it looks kind of like a hurricane though. It, it passes. What does a hurricane okay. look like? You know, I don't know. I've never seen one in real I think, life. I think it's just meant to be a storm, right? It's like, kind a, of. It's like a wild storm with like lots of. Uh, yeah, but it, it does have an eye. And it like does go in a circle and stuff. Does it? Yeah. Huh. I have no idea. Maybe it's like meant to be like a mega giant tornado <laughs> or something. I think so. I think that's actually pretty spot on. Guys, the banned maps here, eliminated maps, Cactus Valley and Expedition Lost for Zest, Deadwing and Bonnie Research Station for Hurricane. Hurricane banning out two of the biggest maps in the pool. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see which players don't want what. Expedition Lost and Cactus, you know, uh, I guess the kind of the, the maps most Protosses don't want to play in general. Except for maybe merry go round but uh, Deadwing and Bonnie, yeah. Those bigger maps, so Hurricane wants this, you know, a bit of a more intimate match, you know, maybe closer possible proxies, possible all-ins. Should be a bit of an exciting one. Yeah, it's funny, these guys, two guys are talking in the chat about the previous game that Hurricane had with Leonok. Going into this one, guys, it's going to be merry go round Zest versus Hurricane. It's a PvP, it really could go anyone's way. Zest has shown weakness in this match before, but let's see how it goes. Game number one, Zest versus Hurricane. Down here in the south, in the blue, our Protoss player from KT Rolster. He is Zest. Zest is best. And he's focused. Handsome. <laughs> We're going too far. With All right, in, in the <laughs> northwest of this map, it is Hurricane. The whirlwind. Know, that kind of looks like west by northwest to me. Come on, man. <laughs> Give me a break. It's like 9.45. 9.45 and 30 seconds because the other well, little hand makes a difference somehow. Actually, that is 10, I think. Kinda. Yeah, it looks it's like, like 10. right there. It looks like 10. Yeah. Well, Valdez, it is a PvP. So let's talk about something else. <laughs> I just moved, actually. Yeah, you did. I only just got my internet back today, which is maybe people are wondering, like, why hasn't Moonglade been streaming? Well, guys, there's a reason. I'm sorry. I didn't actually yeah. let you guys know, but I Where? actually moved houses. <laughs> yeah, you did. And I, and I was without internet for four days. Yeah. I should have probably tweeted that at some point. People actually knew what was going on in my life. Well, you I also you had some care. phone problems, so it's it's hard to deal with that. I, I couldn't you know? even tweet because I had no phone either. <laughs> yeah. I was so disconnected and... Being completely disconnected in this country is, is something else, man. Yeah, it really is. You, basically, everyone is wired here. Everyone has a smartphone. Um, some like, you know, some of the older folk over here, they do have the flip phones still. But uh, yeah. even those flip phones can like still get TV somehow. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is something else. Everyone just loves their their smartphones. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, 
I also had some trouble in my house. I actually uh, asked for it to be cleaned because I live in the basement. There was some mold there. Yeah. And uh, it got bleach bombed. Well, and should, I haven't been able to go in there in a week. You should explain what <laughs> what a basement is here in Korea as well. They might think you actually like live downstairs in someone's like apartment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a like a basement one room apartment, like a studio. It's just underground, so mm. yeah, mm. So. bottom of the building sort of thing. Haven't been able to go in there in a while. Yeah, it's actually amazing they they cleaned it with just bleach. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's actually ridiculous <laughs> when you think about it. It's like, well, I I guess it's just unhabitable for you know a couple of weeks. Exactly. I don't know what they were thinking, but that's the predicament I'm in. It's probably like payback because you said you're moving out. <laughs> They're like, well, you can move Pretty out much. now. Like, yeah. we'll, we'll bleach like, you get out. out of here. They like, try to kill me with bleach. I'm like, oh man. Yeah, imagine that. They kill a foreigner with bleach. It's like, whoa, you're in trouble. <laughs> Let's hope they try not to kill me. Mm -hmm. Stargate coming out of Zest. Stargate coming out with Hurricane. Ooh, cool. Nice. So this makes an interesting place where, you know, one person could just go blind Phoenix and it, like, 100% counter counters that uh, oracle of the opponent. So far, neither opponent really able to get much scouting information. Um, Hurricane looks closer to doing that. He's sending that Mother Core straight to the... Oh, no. He pulls back. He's looking for a scout with that Mother Core. Oh, Zest might actually might find it. You know, he's getting a position for it. This could be huge. It's like such an important scout. If he can find the Stargate, it, it just gives him such an advantage. Yeah, and you know what? That probe actually missed the Mother Core. Oh, wow. Oracle oh. from Zest. He scouts there's no Nexus. The Oracle from both, yeah. Okay. And both players sense. scout there's no nexus with different units. So it's going to be an interesting start to this game. We're seeing that Twilight follow-up from Zest. What are we going to see from Hurricane? Probably the same. You can mm -hmm. kind of forego that robo when you go for an Oracle. Because yep. you do have that detection if you need it. Exactly. And Twilight Council coming down for both players just a little bit later for Hurricane. Both players even going for follow-up three gates after their Stargate, so exact mirror builds, oh. just different timings. Nearly an Oracle kiss, but instead, this Oracle could even go down, man. Ooh, taking a lot of damage. He's gonna get it. Oh, Oracle's, what? Yep, it's gonna go down. Hurricane. Well, Zest, actually, <laughs> like Zest is not the best micro there, I have to say. Oh yeah, but I mean, Hurricane got the kill, yeah, yeah, like he's yeah. so far ahead. For like, sure. Well, I wouldn't even say so far ahead, but he at least has his Oracle still. He didn't actually find any damage. Mm. And now, actually, Zest can just make that Phoenix and go on the hunt yeah. for the Oracle if he wants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because he is actually looking to put down a pylon. Yeah, it seems like the aggression is going to be strong, I guess, because he does have that Oracle. And if that Oracle is constantly forcing out photon overcharges in the main base, he's not going to have anything to defend this Nexus with because he's, he's going to be behind in Stalkers. And he's going to have that Oracle as well to you know, back up and do some extra damage. Yeah. So this is actually a fantastic idea from Hurricane. It really is. And it's pretty much only pure Stalker out of Hurricane. Of course, no Nexus. Zest does see that that's a pretty important piece of scouting information. And at the same time, I'm not sure if it's really going to matter because... Uh, like you said, the energy on that right now, the most of course, 85. Mm, that is a lot of stalkers there. And with that Phoenix sitting in the main base, a great sort of follow-up from uh, from Zest that you know secure that line, so he can actually use that photon overcharge on the the natural. And that that decision alone might have just won him the game, because he's gonna have photon overcharge. He should be able to fight this army once he's got enough stalkers. There we go. There's photon overcharge. Pilot wow. has to be cancelled. And this is. So huge. The only other thing is, obviously, there is Blink now, which could be a bit of a problem. Yeah, Blink not finished here for Zest. Bit of a delay. He's going to take a lot of damage here on that Nexus. It's getting pretty low, actually. He could actually kill this. He could commit to it. I think, I think he, he may will. just be able to get this. He's going to kill it. Maybe even Blink out or even Blink forward. He could actually go for the kill. Blink versus Blink right now. Both players going at it, but Hurricane decides to back off first. Yeah, and they're essentially even. Oh, my God. This is so smart, actually, out of Hurricane. He knows that Zest could be supply blocked after that Nexus went down. So Zest forced to make two pylons here. And the pylon on the edge, he could pick that off, possibly, and just make more stalkers and get ahead. Yeah, it seems that way. And Vision helping out so much. Or Revelation, sorry. 
very even, but all these pylons oh that are on the outside are going to supply block Zest so many times. Huge blink forward from Zest. Maybe hoping, uh, you know, Cat's one stalker on the edge there with one just big blow with the rest of his stalkers. Yeah, there's another pylon that potentially could go down as well. Wow. Hurricane is just slowly getting ahead with this. Oh, oh and Hurricane's got that Oracle in the main. Forces a big blink back. He's going to get one kill. And at the same time, Hurricane can't really make much of it because of that ramp. You know, he couldn't really get up it and possibly do some blink micro there. Good trade again. Oh, that Phoenix is so low. It's but been a while. Odd position, sorry. No, no, no. It's It's been a while since we've had like this big Blink Stalker versus Blink Stalker battle on PvP. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I like it. Now, I wonder if Hurricane can identify this. You know, he's like, well, you actually have a lot less stalkers now. I could maybe bulldoze up this ramp, but it's going to be such a disadvantage to the fight regardless. He's having a look. No, that is such a hot position. Yeah. And he doesn't realize the four oh. stalkers are going to get in the main. And that's all you need. Oh. He Looks like he's going to sacrifice. Yeah. yeah, he's going to just try to take down as many probes as possible. Hurricane oh. noticed that a lot of those stalkers are out of position, but Photon Overcharge is going to keep them safe. Oh, wow. He even got the Mothership. Wow. So that's... Oh, man. I think that's an advantage for Zest at this point, though he has to get his natural down. He can't secure the top of that ramp for the natural now. Maybe Zest comes from behind with some big stalkers. I don't know. Those four, or rather three, left over are still out on the map. Hmm. Yeah, Zest just puts down his natural, and I don't know. We may just transition out of this. You know, damage going both ways, and Nexus is now coming up at equal times. Transitions into Robotech. No stalkers are gonna get home alive. It looks like, and. The one nice. big difference is that Hurricane is committing more to more Stalkers instead of that Robotech. Yeah, that is true. He's going to have his natural up a lot faster as well. It's going to give him a nice economic lead for at least a little while. Though he's down in probes currently. Yeah. But I do like the transition from Zest. You know, going into Immortals earlier, going to give him such an advantage so long as he can hold on. If he can't hold on, then it's a whole other story. Here we go. Is he actually going to blink on top of this? Nope. Going to trade out as best he can. Oh! As I say that. He's going for a huge blink forward. I think he has enough. Looks like he made just it's incredibly close right now. 19 to 19, but a lot of Zest Stalkers weren't fighting during this battle. Getting pretty low, but Hurricane at the same time with that big blink forward. He doesn't have the micro advantage, and oh, Zest wow. is going to hold this off. All right. Yeah, just blinking forward like that. Just a little too costly because... Zest with the perfect micro just saving so many yeah. of those stalkers. So many of them are so low right now. He just, you know, it's a lot more efficient to stay up there in a concave and just blink back the weakened ones instead of Hurricane just getting everything of his right into the face of Zest and taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Now you guys can see the difference. 30 probes to 25, 17 to 11. Zest in a pretty massive lead. Yeah, especially with army supply. 37 army supply to the 24 of Hurricanes. He and is miles and ahead. the tech advantage, I want to point that the out tech, too. Soon to be the composition advantage when he starts adding Immortals. I think Hurricane might have depleted his opportunity, his advantage. I don't know what, less, le what else he could do at this point. The game is going to obviously drag on for a little while longer as they mine from their naturals, you know, build their armies up. But yeah. Zest is always going to have the advantage in army supply and composition, especially for the time being. Yeah. And he had a decent amount of probes more than Hurricane for like a pretty long time. You know, he's going to stay ahead here, even 38 to 35. And it's just a lot of like extra minerals mined faster. Immediately getting those immortals out. He's already got one out on the map. Whereas Hurricane, he does finish up his robot, but does not immediately start making immortals getting behind in that facet. Yeah, I guess just doesn't really have the economy currently. You know, he's still struggling for gas. You see the third and fourth being added for Zest. Added for Zest, sorry. As my tongue <laughs> tires. Your tongue like flops around in your mouth. Doesn't know what to do That's anymore. That's what happens, man. <laughs> we also saw that upgrade advantage on the way for Zest. He's going for the Mothership Core. He's not even nope. going to get that. Nope. Oh, what a waste. 
I'm just getting farther and farther behind. Hmm. And a new Valdez. Yeah, I mean, like you said, <laughs> this is probably going to go on for another five minutes because it's PvP and it's so hard to attack. Maybe even more than five minutes, you know, but Zest is getting that advantage. Even's going for a third base by the looks of things. That or he simply just wants to get some probe on the map. Maybe throw down some pylons. Oh, there we go. This is going to be that third Nexus. I like it. At this point, he knows he's gotten far enough ahead that he's like, well, even though I will go for this Nexus, I can hold it just because of my army advantage. And with that third Nexus, he's going to get even farther ahead. So 20 supply lead with army at this point in time. Like, that is such a huge lead in this kind of uh, mirror match. When they both got the same units, uh, well, actually, like, Hurricane's a little behind in both upgrade and you know, the, the really cost-efficient units at this point, the Immortals. Mm. He's going to try and add some Colossus a little bit. Oh, he's actually behind on that too, sorry. He's actually going <laughs> to add some Colossus now. But still, Zest is one step ahead every single step of the way. Mm -hmm. Just, I have to say, just better play out of Zest. You know, a little mix-up in the decision-making of Hurricane, especially that big, big forward. That was the big disadvantage he caused in this game, I think. You're going to see the uh, Hurricanes army move forward. Maybe apply some pressure, but he can't actually do anything against this yeah. at the moment. It's interesting that he's actually moving forward like this too, because we don't actually see a pylon on the map. He's, I think he's like rotating around, going to try and snipe that third base and actually recall out. You know, I feel like sometimes in PvP you get into the situation where you're so far behind, you're like, I'm going to make a miracle happen. I'm going to hope Zest is totally out of position. I catch oh. him totally off guard. Oh, no. Look at this. But he's actually in a really dangerous position. But he, this is a huge risk he's taking. Yeah. He's, like, trying to go for a third base snipe or something. Oh, the mothership card. Oh. Saves it. So close. Stalker's going to come in and try to do some economic damage. But if he loses all these Stalkers... I think Zest just counterattacks. I think he may just be able to. If he can snipe this Colossus, it could be something. But no, it looks like he just wants to save those Stalkers. Loses is another one. It's 27 to 6 Stalkers right now. There's an extra Colossus on the map. Zest, I think he just needs to end this game. Yeah, I think that's all that's left to do. And I think he knows it too. It's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've whittled your army down enough. You probably don't even have a photon overcharge now. I think I can blink on top of you and kill you. He's going to be safe about it, just slowly using his blink, efficiently trading, ca trying to catch Hurricane's army. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> well, All the probes go down. There goes the economy, and there goes the Mothership core. Oh Voted over charge finished, but that third is gone. Trying to blink for it, trying to snipe a Colossus, trying to do whatever he can, but this game is over, ladies and gentlemen. GG. Hurricane goes down to Zest. Zest now o up 0-1, or 1-0, rather. My brain's being fried too, Moonglade. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day, Valdez. We'll make it through together. We can hold hands under the desk if you want. I'm good, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would much rather do that with Zest. Start coming into the booth. Wants to talk with Hurricane. Both of them look pretty concerned, and I would be too. Down 0-1 to Zest. Zest, the guy taking out Trap. Um... Not super recently, but in recent times, you know, in a big series PvP. So even though sometimes I say he had that like one, situ like that one maybe week or two where he wasn't doing so well in PvP, but he really brought it back to shape and he's turned it around. Yeah, you can tell. You really can. A little bit of danger in that game, especially when Zest lost the uh, the Oracle for nothing. But it wasn't enough wasn't a big enough window for Hurricane to get in there and do the damage. He even Hurricane even killed a Nexus, but it still wasn't enough. Zest bounced back. Hurricane made the mistake of committing too much to a fight up a ramp. And from there, Zest was simply just way too far ahead. Yeah. There's always that moment in time, you know, like you were